Today we'll have a quick lesson over muscular contraction. This is a sarcomere, the smallest contractile unit of the muscle. The shortening of this unit causes muscular contraction. The first step is for the brain to send a signal for the muscle to contract. The signal is sent by acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that is released into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Acetylcholine causes an action potential and the inside of the muscle becomes more positive. The muscle is now depolarized and goes from negative 90 millivolts up to 0 to 10 millivolts. The T tubules carry the depolarized action potential and cause the release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The calcium binds to troponin C and moves troponin I, troponin T, and tropomyosin. Now that the tropomyosin has moved, myosin can bind to actin. Actin will slide over myosin and the sarcomere will contract. That's all. Thanks for listening.